The Boundary Waters is a place that continues to draw me back. It's become a place of comfort and familiarity, a place that feels like home. It pulls me into a simplicity that allows no room for care and worry. It's a place of deep connection. I think it's these characteristics that keep me coming back, specifically to share with the people closest to me. I got off the plane, I'm in Minneapolis, and um, ready to meet up with the guys. I have to just go get my baggage and things, but as we were coming down on the plane, I saw like the, open the window and saw this field of like green trees, and I was like, we're finally back. I can't wait to just be back uh, in the wilderness and the outdoors again, and, uh, and just in nature. Hello, my friends. Ely Outfitting Company gets traded for the night. They have some nice bunk houses and just hauling gear for the car and hopefully get some of our food refrigerated overnight, maybe too. Well, we just left Ely, grabbed some coffee, been down to our put in this morning, and we should be there in the next uh, 40 minutes or so. We got a little drive ahead of us, but the rest of the day is all paddling, so. with a portage. We're at Moose River North and then portaging into Nina Moose River and that'll take us kind of north the start of our trip. So it's pretty warm out this morning. It's only gonna get warmer. We got a high of like 90 today. So a little toastier than I was hoping for but We'll make it we'll be in and out of the water a lot. Well, we're into it now. We've uh, done, what, three portages, the one we started on and then two small ones. We're on Nina Moose River. It's a pretty straight shot now to the lake and then we'll just kind of keep going from there. But uh, got a little bit more river, river to paddle, but we're fully into it at this point.
is my first time solo paddling this canoe. It's a uh, North Star Northwind 17. And it's a long one for solo paddling, but having this kneeling thwart here goes a long way. Um, I can tell it's gonna be amazing on the open water. I'm just gonna be cruising, but through all this like tight stuff, a little trickier than my uh, than my other 15 footer. So it's fun though, figuring it out. Stop for a little lunch. Got some dehydrated, um, what is this called? Hummus. Hummus. <laughs> Got some dehydrated hummus here. We'll, tr we'll rehydrate, making some wraps. Um, so we've got cheese, bell pepper, carrot, and then some summer sausage. So should make a pretty hearty, hearty lunch for us. Voila. All right, there we are. Little pike. We're working our way through this marsh. A lot of just tall grasses and weeds. We're on the last stretch of the river and then we'll be coming up to Lake Agnes here pretty soon. I think that's where we're gonna set up camp for the night. Just kind of scout a few of the sites, find a good spot to set up for the night. So that's the plan, we're getting closer. Might check this site out right here. It's looking pretty nice. Up off the water a little bit. Yeah, I think we like this site. It's pretty up on a hill.
How's it going guys? If you can't tell, it's very dark. This is the end of day one. We've just had a great meal for dinner, cocktail, some fishing, and uh, ready to go to sleep. Ready to have a good, uh, good rest here. For sure. Good night. Good night. up camp heading down Lake Agnes we got two portages today to get us over to Lock LaCroix and then from there who knows where we'll end up it's a big lake lots of islands but I imagine we'll get there a little earlier in the day today Oh, no. 
it's gnarly. Well, we made it to Boulder Bay on Lac Lafroy. Started raining on us just now, but I think it's just a light, it's just gonna be a light rain or something. I don't think we're gonna get a lot. It's kind of nice, honestly, though. It's a good break from the 90 degrees. A little cool breeze. Um, but yeah, now we just have paddling to do until we find a campsite. So we're probably gonna be shooting for one of the islands around here and uh, just see what the day what the day has in store for us. So it's 12.30 right now, so we got plenty of time, but we'll just kind of poke around, see what, uh, what sites look pretty interesting to us. We just made camp for the night. We ended up finding an island um, on Lake LaCroix and um, it's beautiful. There's um, trees that are turning colors. It's just like a gorgeous place. We ended up just going for a swim to refresh and uh, we're gonna gather some firewood, get everything ready for tonight. There's been a lot of wind, like probably pretty high winds here so far. So we had to kind of situate our campsite with everything tied down to keep it from blowing away. Yeah, we kind of ended up strategizing and figuring out camp set up and uh, find firewood and kind of get ready to be prepared for dinner. Well, we're just taking a chill day today. <clears throat> We've got a nice island site. It's pretty windy today again as well. So it's kind of nice just chilling. Still pretty warm. From what I remember the forecast, uh, it's supposed to drop in temperature tomorrow. So maybe tonight we get a little bit of a dip. Um, but anyways, we're just, uh, we spent some time this morning fishing. Caught a, caught a couple pike. I think Jordan caught a bass again. And then just reading, hanging out, kind of exploring the island. 
and just taking it easy. So should be a pretty good restful day. And then tomorrow the plan is to hit the water again, um, try to cover a little bit more distance. We've got a couple more days ahead of us, so um, just trying to space everything out, but the rest day has been nice. Well, I've been chilling for most of the afternoon. We got a storm blowing in now. A lot of thunder in the background. It's all blowing in this way. Kind of set up the tarp and everything, got everything configured, ready to go. So, hunkering down, waiting for everything to hit. Welcome back to another cocktail hour in the Boundary Waters. Today, we're gonna to be doing a whiskey sour. So, we've got bourbon, we've got lemon juice again, and we've got maple syrup. Pretty simple combination. So, let's get this going. All right. Whiskey Sours. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. This is actually really pretty. It's like very peaceful. Yeah. It's like not a hard rain. It's gonna just like soak everything. And it's nice. It's been weird, like the wind coming through yeah. without the rain and being super intense. But then the rain comes and it's calm and chill. All right, we're settled in for the night. You can kind of hear the wind outside, the rain. Our tarp's blowing quite a bit. Hoping it all just holds up for the night, but that storm's definitely coming in. So hoping that means our cold front tonight, but also it's kind of hard to tell because it seems like the storm's coming from the south. So we'll see, but hopefully it just dies down a little bit and it doesn't get too crazy tonight. Well, this morning, the storm wasn't too bad last night. Had to get up one time to kind of tighten down the tarp and readjust some stuff, but all in all, it's got a lot of rain. Everything's pretty wet this morning. So we're just making some breakfast now, kind of packing some things up, and then we're gonna get on the water and try to get some distance today. Our goal is to cross this section of Lac LaCroix and then we're gonna work our way into Pocket Creek and then from there start working south and uh, see where we get. 
All right, we're shoving off. We've got to contend with Lock LaCroix today a little bit. It's pretty cloudy. There's quite a bit of wind this morning, so hoping we can just make it through this open stretch pretty quick. Get into some smaller water. We've got kind of this narrow straight ahead of us here, and then after that, we've got a pretty big bay to cross. So that's the goal. We'll see if we can knock it out before it gets too windy. We're right here. We just came out of, we're like sitting between these two islands. Um, our bearing is just like set for right over here. So we're just going to try to shoot across here, this bay. Here's where we're probably going to get a lot of the wind. Okay. And it's looking like there's a little bit of white capping out going on out there. So your best bet, if the wind is going to be coming from our north, just angle it kind of northwest. So just kind of angle into the wind and just kind of roll with the waves if we do get a lot of waves. But um, essentially just shoot straight across the bay. Um, okay. You'll see this big island. Basically just go to that island and then we'll find shelter on the southern side of it. Be on pretty small water the rest of the day. Keep going. Nice. Okay, you ready for this one?
All right, so we just came out of Pocket Creek and we are on Gobionaquit Lake now. And still pretty cloudy out, but we haven't had any rain yet. We're gonna try to push on to the next lake or two. A couple more portages maybe, then find camp for the night. It's like 1.30 right now, so we got plenty of day left ahead of us um, to find something good and see where it goes. Like that might be our home for the night. Just gotta see if there's an easy way to get up there. right now we got five portages ahead of us today we're gonna to try to get to need a moose that'll set us up with a pretty easy day out tomorrow um, to get back to the car so a little bit of a push today um, but hopefully not get in too late in the day I think we uh, I think we'll be all right still pretty cloudy out weather feels great no wind so that's a positive. I think we can make some some pretty good distance today.
going through Oyster River right now. Just beautiful terrain. Um, lots of just like grassy meadow, swampy area, lily pads. Just saw a moose, which was pretty cool. Went over some beaver dams. We'll paddle this for a little bit longer. It should take us right into Nina Moose River, which will take us then to Nina Moose Lake where we'll camp tonight. So get a little bit closer. That's the plan. So we skipped the portage. Never skip the portage. Otherwise, you'll find yourself wading through a swamp. And that was a long day. A long day. That swamp area was pretty crazy. Yeah. It was kind of fun, but it was kind of crazy. It was. Yeah. I'm glad it was only I'm glad we did it. Yeah. yeah. Still felt like the right decision. I agree. All right, today is Friday and we are headed out of here. Um, it's been an incredible trip. We've had a lot of fun campsites, a lot of different weather. And so I think we're pretty uh, worn out this morning. After some nice breakfast burritos, we'll head on our way. Got three portages and then 
we'll say goodbye to the boundary waters. It's been great. final portage out to the cars it's been a fun week in the boundary waters gorgeous all around got quite a variety it's been a great trip all in all just really fun to get the three of us back together for a week in the wilderness so absolutely awesome and very thankful for the time